hello friends good morning and welcome back once again to the channel before we go any further let's briefly talk about our yesterday's results i shared three games in which i gave you my analysis and uh, reasons why i selected that option the first game was from the italy syria a Fosinoni and monza we had Fosinoni to score and i gave you my reasons why they should be scoring and at the end of the day yesterday they scored twice and i also told you that the both teams in which is monza is going to score and Monza will also concede. Funny enough, Monza scored three goals in a row, but Fosinoni also scored twice yesterday. So that was a success. The second game was from the Scotland Championship, Patrick Tistu and Aborat. I told you that game is going to have a lot of goals. That my prediction was over 1.5 goals. I gave you my reasons. I showed you the analysis towards it. And I told you that if you don't want over 1.5, you can go with over 2.5 because... I've done the research and I've done the analysis and I told you why that goal should be coming. And at the end of the day yesterday, Patrick T2 won 4-0. So that one was also successful. The third game, to be honest, was very painful in which it was Ambaro and Tramere Rovers. We had over 1.5 goals in that game yesterday, but the game ended in Barrow winning just 1-0. Tramere failed to score, Barrow failed to score twice. So we did not win the over 1.5, but I still told you yesterday for safety, Barrow to win or draw. But I was confident in over 1.5 because the two teams have been doing well of recent, but they failed to utilize their chances and we were unlucky. So that was for yesterday's results and I believe today is going to be a different day and today we're going to be winning our today's sleep because we have just one sleep of two odds for today. So if you are new to the channel, do ensure you are hitting the subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified whenever a video is being uploaded. And please and please ensure you are hitting the like button. If you want to join my Telegram, the link is pinned in the comment section. I also shared the game on Telegram yesterday, two odd sleep, and it was successful. So if you partake of it yesterday, congratulations. So if you want to join the Telegram, the link is pinned in the comment section. Please and please, for those asking me on my comments that they want to buy VIP games, fixed matches, please, I have never mentioned with my mouth here that I sell VIP games or fixed matches. Please be careful so you will not be scammed. I'll be repeating this thing every day until I know that somebody one day will still come and send me a message and say, JB, they have scammed me. So please be warned. Please be warned. So let's dive into today's business. We have just three games, two odds. 2.01 odds, three games, and I'll be very, very fast about it. The first game is from the Turkey Super League or the Turkey Premier League. We have the first game to be Galatasaray and Koyan Spore. So let's dive into the analysis of this game. We have Galatasaray sitting in second position with 44 points, while Koyan Spore has 18 points. They've played um, 17 games and they are 16th on the table. And if you look at Galatasaray, Galatasaray has been doing amazingly well. They've played 17 games. They've won 14, draw two, and lost just one. While Koyanspor, on the other hand, has played 17 games, winning four, drawing six, and losing seven. In the space of the 17 games Galatasaray has played, they've scored 32 goals and considered nine. It shows that Galatasaray are good in goal scoring, but they hardly concede. They don't concede much. Compared to the away team in which has played um, 17 games, as I've said before, they've scored 18 goals and considered 22. This means that for every one game Korean sport played, maybe they concede in that particular game, or they don't even score at all, but they end up conceding. Korean sport, based on what is showing here, they don't score much, but they are struggling in terms of scoring. Imagine playing 17 games and conceding uh, 22 goals. So that is for Koyans. For looking at Galatasaray home record, Galatasaray has played eight games at home and won eight, drawing zero and losing zero. And they've scored 20 goals and considered just six. So for every one game Galatasaray plays at home, they score like two goals because it's there. Eight games, eight winnings, 20 goals being scored. So it shows that at home, Galatasaray are very, very good in goal scoring. Now, looking at the away side in which is Korean sport, they've played eight games away, winning just once, drawing four, and losing three. They have not been in good shape. They've scored just eight goals. So, for every one game they play, they score one goal, and they concede more in the space of the one goal they score. So, they've considered 13 goals and scored just eight. Very, very 
poor. Now let's go to their head-to-head. -head. The last five games uh, Galatasaray played, they had three games winning, one draw and one loss. The loss they had was in the Champions League against Copenhagen, but the draw they also had was 0-0 draw against Fanambache. Obviously, Fanambache are a very strong side. So the last three games they also won it. They won 0-2 to Pendik Spore, 3-1 to Andana Demiris Spore, and 1-0 to Kramagrumuk. While Koyan Spore, on the other hand, has played five games of recent, winning two, drawing two, losing one. And the one of the games they won was a cup game, and the other one they won was a recent game against Career Spore, 2-0, but that was a home game. Now, we are talking about home and away. Galatasaray are at home. Looking at their home form, Galatasaray has played five games at home. This is their recent home form. They won four and draw one. And the only game they drew was against Manchester United, in which it was a 3-3 draw. But the remaining four games, Galatasaray has been doing amazingly well. Looking at their away side, in which is Koyanspo, the last five games they played away. They lost three and draw two. And funny enough, they have been scoring at least just one goal in these last five games they played away. But the only time they failed to score was against Andana Demirispo, in which they lost 3-0. To be honest, guys, this game is going to be an amazing game, and Galatasaray should be winning this game. And one of the reasons why Galatasaray should be winning a game is because if you look at the table, as I've said before, they have 44 points. Fanambache also has 44 points. So this is the battle of the title. So every win now for Galatasaray is very, very important. Based on what I've said, Galatasaray are good in goal scoring and they concede less. Koyan Sports struggles to score, but they concede more. And at the end of the day, Galatasaray should come out to the win with either 2-0, 2-1, or 1-0. Mark this three score line. So my prediction for this game is Galatasaray to win at full time at 1.28 odd. This is the reason why I selected Galatasaray to win. Now, the second game on the list is a game between Istanbul Spor versus Fanambache, still from the Turkey Super League. Uh, Fanambache has 44 points, the same point with Galatasaray. So, this game also, this is another first factor that is very important in this match. Um, based on what I'm seeing, Fanambache has played 17 games, winning 14, drawing two, and losing just one. And if you look at the goals Fanambache has scored, 44 goals in the space of 17 matches. It means for every one game Fanambache plays, at least they score two to three goals. And it speaks for itself. And they've considered just 14, uh, 14 goals. And they have 44 points. Istanbul Spawn, on the other hand, are dead last on the table, having played 17 games, winning two, drawing two, and losing 13. In the space of the 17 games, they've considered 31 goals and scored just 11. Very, very poor. So looking at their head-to-head, before we go to the head to head, let's look at the home form, what Istanbul Sport does at home. The last game they played at home, Istanbul Sport has played nine games at home, winning two, drawing one, and losing six. And they've scored just eight goals and considered 16. Very, very poor. It speaks a lot that Istanbul Sport are really, really struggling. Looking at Fanambache away game, they've played eight games away, they've won seven, draw one, and lost zero. They've scored 18 goals and considered just four. This is amazing. Fanabati scores well both away and they score well both at home. So let's dive into the head-to-head, -head, the last five games they both played. Looking at the last five games Istanbul played, they lost four and won one. Very, very poor. Fanabati, on the other hand, let's look at it. Fanabati, on the other hand, has played five of their recent games. They won four and drew one. And the one they drew was against Galatasaray, obviously another strong side. So Fanabati has been doing very, very well. Now, Istanbul for home record, their last five home games, they've lost four and won just one. Very, very poor once again. We have the next game to be Fanabati last five games away. We have them winning twice, losing twice, and drawing one. So the last two games Fanambache won was the Turkey Super Liga, but the last two they lost was the Europa Conference League, I guess. But the one they draw also was Turkey Super League. So I believe at the end of the day, to be honest, Fanambache should come out with the win. Look at their last two games they played away. 3-4 and 
scoring a good number of goals. And to be honest, Istanbul Sport doesn't stand a chance. At the end of the day, Panambate should come out with the win of a scoreline of 0, 2 or 0, 3. So that is my prediction for this game. Panambate to win also at full time at 1.21 odd. Panambate to win at full time at 1.21 odd. The last game on the list is a game between Salarintiana versus Juventus. I'll be very brief about this. My prediction for this game is over 1.5 goals at 1.30 odd. My main reason for over 1.5 goals is because, based on my research, Salarintiana scores at home. They tend to score more at home compared to away. And the other hand, Juventus has been in an amazing form. These two teams just made themselves of recent and Juventus won 6-1. Salantiana even scored first. But at the end of the day, Juventus won 6-1. And if you look at the table, Juventus has been doing well. Juventus really want to come back to the old days of winning the trophies back-to-back. Salantiana, to be honest, are in the relegation zone. And if they win today, they leave the relegation zone having 15 points. But to be honest, it's going to be very, very tough. And this game, the both teams can score themselves, to be honest. Because if you look at, look at Salarintiana's head-to-head, their last five games they played at home. Look at Salarintiana's last five games they played at home. They played 2-2 to AC Milan, 1-2 to Bologna. They won Lazio 2-1. They, they lost to Napoli 0-2 and they won Sampdoria 4-0. To be honest, Salarintiana tend to score at least one goal at home. And Juventus, on the other hand, has been doing excellently well prompting them scoring at least one goal so guys my prediction as i've said before is over 1.5 goals and the both teams can score themselves juventus can end up winning this game 2-1 0-2 or 3-1 but salarentina to be honest are going to give juventus a really tough time i mean tough time scoring them at least one goal because they are in the relegation zone so they need to start working hard to leave the relegation zone so guys, that is all the games for today. Fanambache to win, Galatasaray to win, Salarintiana versus Juventus over 1.5 goals. And the booking codes are on your screen for both 1xbet and Sportybet. So I've come to the end of today's uh, predictions and I wish us all the best. Sorry for keeping you. I just had to give you the reasons why I selected these particular games. So I wish you all the best and I wish you all success. If you want to join my Telegram, the link is pinned in the comment section. I'll still drop more games over there. Have a wonderful day, have a blessed day, and bye for now.